Hey everyone, Chris here Knight here for Car Player TV for another edition of Strategy. I'm here with Mike Watson. Mike, how's it going? Pretty good. Well, today we're going to talk about Blocker Bets. He wrote an article for Car Player Pro, so, and obviously... Wait, I don't remember it. You don't remember <laughs> it? Well, that's okay. It went in the magazine, it was very good. Oh, awesome. Okay. I'm glad. So, for those who don't know, can you explain what a Blocker bet, bet is and why you would use it? So, uh, the basic idea behind a Blocker Bet is it's kind of like a smaller bet that you make generally when you're out of position in a hand to try to prevent your opponent from making a bigger bet that you wouldn't really know how to react to. Um, and like this is talked about in some books, I think, where there's actually spots where it makes a lot of sense mathematically to do so. So it's kind of like, you know, you have like a marginal strength hand usually, and uh, that's the typical situation. And you're kind of trying to prevent, you know, getting bluffed by a big bet or, you know, having to pay off a really big bet that you, you know, when you're trying to lose less if you do have the worst hand. One question I wanted to ask is, is it possible to have a blocker bet for value when you have, when maybe you river a good hand, let's say you raise with ace king, you bet a flop of queen queen, ten, they call, turn is like a nine, check check, and then the river is a king. Now you have top pair, but it brings like the flush and the straight. Right. So could that be a blocker bet for value? Is that something that's common or, or it just seems to make sense to me? Yeah, definitely in general when you're doing the blocker bet, it's because you kind of think there's a decent chance you have the best hand and you're trying to, a lot of the time you are hoping like, well, I don't think you can call a bigger bet with a worse hand, but if I make a small bet, then maybe I'll keep in some of these weaker hands and actually get some value for it and avoid like the times that you're beat, try to lose less. So it's kind of trying to get a little bit of value in your head and lose less when you're beat is the idea. When you have a draw, is it a good idea to maybe, I mean, and is this even a concept where you would block like the turn? Maybe you call a bet on the flop, like check call a bet, and then the turn you miss. Is it ever a good idea to like bet small here so that maybe they're not going to blow you off your draw? Uh, it's definitely something that you can do. I think uh, it's not something I really recommend doing a lot. I think it's kind of transparent in a lot of situations. Like people are going to see through it. They're going to raise you. You know, you're making this. But it really depends that you're doing it. And, uh, you know, sometimes if you're a type of player who sometimes makes, like, fake blocking bets, hoping to, like, induce your opponent to, to try to blow you off the hand by making this small bet, then, uh, then you can kind of mix in, like, actual blocking bets sometimes to do that. But it's definitely something you have to be really careful about because, like, the bet does look weak and it's sometimes going to, you know, not always get the reaction that you want. What are some of the mistakes you see beginning players making with blocking bets? And is that one of them, making, maybe, maybe making the blocking bets too small? Yeah, I mean, the biggest one is probably just doing it in really obvious situations, you know, where, and, and only doing it with weak hands. So if you're only ever doing it, you know, your hand is always something marginal, and, you know, you just, it's just really easy for the opponent to react. They can either, they can bluff you some of the time, or, you know, they can raise you pretty light for value, knowing that you only have a marginal strength hand. And it just basically allows them to put you in really bad spots. And because you've put in a bet, like when they raise you, the bet's going to be even bigger than if you just checked and they bet themselves. So when it doesn't work, you put yourself in an even worse situation. Yeah, the worst thing is making a blocking bet and getting raised. That's exactly. totally the worst. Yeah, it's totally the but you don't want to have happen, unless it's a fake one where you're trying to induce it. Exactly. Induce it. Well, thank you so much, Michael. Chris Arnett with Mike Watson for Car Player TV.